According to The Intercept, the Democratic Party currently has more than 25 presidential candidates. With four to five garnering significant support in the polls, there may not be a clear frontrunner by next July's Democratic National Convention in Milwaukee. In order to get the 2020 Democratic presidential nomination, candidates need to win a 51 percent majority, or at least 2,026 of the 4,051 delegates during the first ballot, the initial vote of the convention. Otherwise, the nomination goes to a brokered convention, where delegates vote until a majority is achieved and a nominee secured. Also participating in these subsequent ballots are superdelegates, a group of elected officials, party leaders, and other party insiders who are unpledged. This means they are free to support any candidate in the party primary. For the 2020 Democratic National Convention, there will be 764 superdelegates. Superdelegates were first added to the Democratic Party in 1984 to give party leaders more influence over the nominations. Newsweek reports that the aim was to produce stronger nominees and, according to The Intercept, to guard against candidates viewed as political liabilities. In 2016, Bernie Sanders supporters accused the party of tipping the scales in favor of Hillary Clinton, who received 571 superdelegates, compared to only 45 for Sanders. The Democratic Party has since changed the rules, allowing superdelegates to vote only in the case of a brokered convention. The Intercept reports, however, that many superdelegates double as lobbyists or work as consultants for presidential candidates. This presents a conflict of interest that could allow outside affiliations to influence the nomination. Many are worried that if a brokered convention were to occur, powerful party insiders and superdelegates could override the voters' choice and in effect decide who becomes the next Democratic presidential nominee.